five scriptural reasons now these reasons capture both the training of the believer and a caution to a careless one are we together number one the first reason according to scripture why people lose is lack of discernment please make sure you write it down hebrews chapter 2 and verse 1 please help us media hebrews chapter 2 and verse 1 the first reason why people lose in this kingdom is lack of discernment it says therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard less at any time we should let them sleep it was while men slept the bible says that the enemy came as a farmer too and planted something so it says awake thou that sleepest and christ shall give you light lack of discernment in genesis chapter 28 the story of jacob's encounter at loss that he would later call peniel it was the encounter where he saw a ladder ascending from the earth to the heaven when you go to verse 16 of genesis 28 the bible says jacob himself counseled himself and rebuked himself he woke up from sleep so the problem was sleep he woke up from sleep and said surely the lord is in this place and i did not know there are many people who have lost seasons because they could not discern there are many people who have lost relationships because they could not discern there are many people who have missed an opportunity to receive territorial anointings because they could not discern discernment lack of discernment number two for time's sake we have to rush the second reason why people lose in this kingdom and then in life and destiny is carelessness the second biblical reason why people lose is carelessness an attitude of non-challenge to life non-challenge to destiny non-challenge to walk hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3 please How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation how shall we escape that means bondage is imminent for anybody who lives a life of negligence are we together carelessness taking life for granted taking things for granted taking opportunities for granted oh there's a free mentorship session with my pastor but what is that about i mean i can always get it careless approach to life one day i'll be anointed i, I think there's there's always time all this fasting and prayer is, is an interruption to my life carelessness he says i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day there is timing with destiny every time is not the right time every time is not convenient he says while it is day for the night cometh when no man can walk again are we together yes in athletics in football and most sports they have an age range no matter how passionate you are about it once you pass that age range sorry for you Either. football they have an age range tennis and all of these sports they have an age range athletics it is important for you to know that there is timing to destiny so carelessness revelation chapter 3 and verse 11 revelations 3 and verse 11 read with me please if you're a christian and you can see it one to read behold i come quickly hold fast which thou hast that no man carelessness let it never be for you that let his bishopric let another take carelessness number three very quickly why do we lose in this kingdom ignorance of the laws of life the laws of destiny laws of the kingdom ignorance of the laws of life the laws of destiny 
the laws of the kingdom psalm 82 and verse 5 that ignorance is a plague in this kingdom it says they know not neither will they understand that they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course lack of light verse 6 says i have said all of you are gods and you are children of the most high the tragedy is in the next verse verse 7 it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes ignorance ignorance is a terrible plague isaiah 60 and verse 1 says arise shine it says not because you are tired of sitting there for your light has come not because your light is around it's always been around but the day it comes to you ezekiel chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 and 2 he had an instruction rise up and he had no strength he says but the spirit entered into me verse 2 and set me upon my feet it takes light it takes an understanding of the ways of god many people are ignorant of the ways of god we just live our lives sociologically sadly you hear this all around our society why sayings like one day go better why sayings like um i know one day one day things will change you see all those kinds of thinkings will be to our own peril our lives must be intentional the bible says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully the quality of my life and your life is predicated on our depth of spiritual illumination our understanding the ways of god not just a religious study of scripture but study of scripture that reveal to us the keys of the kingdom are we blessed number four why do we lose in life and in this kingdom abuse and misuse the fourth reason why we lose abuse and misuse in matthew 25 the parable of the talents when you read from verse 14 down to 30 matthew 25 the bible talks about the parable of three men who were given talents one was given five the other two one the bible says the one with five went and traded it and returned back with a hundred percent the other one with two returned back with a hundred percent and the one who had one already he had an attitude of bitterness and jealousy and anger and he went and buried it you bury seeds not talents and when the master came he said i know you are a hard man you like to reap where you did not sow so i thought instead of wasting my time let me bury it here is your seed and god called him wicked and unprofitable that everything god gives you let me tell you something you see we talk a lot about transfer whether well transfer or it's not only unbelievers that good things leave believers who have who have a track record of abuse and misuse will also lose things because god is a god of of caution and he's a god of responsibility if you are hungry and he feeds you with five loaves and two fish and you now eat and you are full and carelessly waste the rest he will say go and gather the crumbs but tomorrow you can be sure you will not get that bread again god was so meticulous he showed us his sense of responsibility and caution when all those guys ate and they littered everywhere and left he said go and gather the crumbs and they gathered 12 baskets full abuse there are people who have abused power there are people who have abused and misused money there are people who have abused and misused the anointing abused and misused leadership africa as a continent is in a plague today sadly because of different levels of abuse and misuse of authority and power the fifth reason why we lose in this kingdom it can be because of the tests and the trials that we are going through it is possible that because of the dealings and the trainings you are going through in the spirit for the sake of your destiny momentarily certain things can be withdrawn from your life that is true the bible does not leave us in the dark 
as to the fact that during your period of training it was apostle james chapter 1 from verse 2 please give it to us james 1 and verse 2 he said count it all joy my brethren when you go through diverse temptations secure your stability with this knowledge he says knowing this james chapter 1 from verse 2 knowing this that the trying of your faith he says works patience are we together verse 3 and that when patience has had its full work in you it will be able to build you paraphrasing so that you may be perfect and entire wanting the word wanting there is lacking nothing so sometimes god takes things from you so that tomorrow you will not have any lack again there are times that God will take your seed of today away from you so that tomorrow you will not need to beg again. It is not, listen, God does not just give. He also takes away. But when he takes away, it really is a, a spiritual investment because with God it will always come back. Hallelujah. Yes. So these are the five reasons that I piece together from scripture as to why people lose.